Hello everyone, welcome to your spiritual liaison, one, two, three. So we're going to go ahead and get into a reading for the sign of Pisces. This is for, um, this is a general reading. This is for the Pisces Collective uh, for all three decades of Pisces. So we're going to see what comes out. I did upload a, um, I am opening up the service for the personal readings. And so um, just be, make sure that if you get a personal reading from me, that you have an open mind and that some of the readings will be positive. Some of it will be negative, um, but you're open to receive that information and I will walk you through like healthy things that you can do to try to get over any negative thing that I see or how you can embrace some sort of positive new change okay so that will be with the personal readings it will get into your past your present and where like what's going on with your north node meaning the energy you're moving into in the future okay all right so again that information um I already uploaded it to the community board and you can start sending me your emails for those who do want personal readings on October the 1st and I'll be accepting those emails between October the 1st and um, October the 10th but the readings will not start until November the 1st okay and it is on a first come first serve basis and the very um, it'll be uh, the first 10 slots okay all right so that is that and this is for all three decades of Pisces. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, you do have the seven of cups here. So I do see a lot of confusion, confusing words. Um, There may be someone who or a group of people who are sort of like, talking, you know, keeping people confused um, about what they know you have the page of swords here some of these people don't know much you know but they're just they're basically making a decision or speaking based off of looking at something from afar they're not close up on it you know they're sort of like spying and looking and things like that and they're communicating anything they learn new about what they see but there's still a lot of confusion and procrastination about seeing the truth that this information that is coming in is emotionally charged um it's not necessarily facts it's not necessarily people thinking logically some people are telling honest stories and some people aren't but it's so much confusion around it that people are even slow to take the time to sift through what the uh, truth is or not. And then right up under that, you have the star card. So it's definitely something is coming out. Something is being um, illuminated or something. So you do have the page of swords here. And again, I do see... Someone is watching you, um, trying to learn what they can learn about your situation. Also, you have the seven of swords here. So this speaks of like someone, um, there was some sort of dishonesty or lies or, you know, the lack of trust that took place, some sort of sneakiness. You have the tower moment, but it's in reverse. So someone is watching you pick yourself up and rebuild after a tower moment. You seem to be doing pretty good. You, you're doing pretty good at rebuilding at this time. Um, I don't see you necessarily focused on all of this communication. Like there's, the, I don't feel like this is you. There is this, there's num a number of energies. This could be a number of water signs because I don't feel like this is you. I kind of feel like this is just, other outside energy that's talking about you, but something about some things are positive, some things are negative, but they have the attention of others. That's what it is. It's like people are slow to see why they, why they are paying attention to everyone else instead of, I don't know why someone else would be going to other people asking you instead of just asking you directly. I don't know. All right. But you seem to be rebuilding from a tower moment. You have the tower moment here and the death card. The tower moment is in reverse. The death card is upright. So there could be a Scorpio that um, is significant at this time. But I do see you building in a happy way from a tower moment. You kind of decided to 
you know, cut your losses and leave something behind so you can be in a better energy where you won't have to be so stressed out, especially with this four of swords here, because you felt like you've had to fight a lot of some, about a situation. So I see you kind of putting down those swords. You're, you know, you're kind of almost hanging up the swords and kind of just taking a moment of rest, a break, of relaxing, you know, kind of just easing your mind. Some of you all are going to the spa, kind of treating yourself putting your feet up and loving life right now you do have the uh you have the ten of pentacles in reverse so there is a situation where there was some sort of control or manipulation of time or finances um but let's get into why this page of swords is here let's see why this page of swords is here the world card. Yes, yeah, someone is watching you. They could be watching you over the internet or something, or someone um, is just a lot of eyes on you. People are this, this, this kind of communication, like emotionally charged communication is basically people who are not close up on you. They're going by what they see from afar. They're talking about how their perspective of you, but from afar, you don't see them, but they're watching you. This is what I'm saying. This could be the internet or just people who are kind of like hiding behind the scenes, just seeing what you're doing, seeing how you're handling what you have accomplished in life, what you're doing with it. Um, You do have this 10 of swords here. So there is a lot of discussion about some sort of betrayal or you getting up from betrayal or having a lot of like different thoughts. Um, someone is looking at and discussing something that they are not, they're not really privy to accurate information. They don't really have all the facts. So they're kind of filling in the gaps with whatever their, whatever their imagination, wherever the imagination takes them or whatever they want the gaps to be, they're filling that in. And this is what is keeping a lot of people in confusion because some of the stories just don't make sense. Don't make, don't match up, you know, but they're there you do have people who are choosing to give these people an ear about your life, what's what you're doing. And a lot of these people are just their their perspective of you um, is is not based all on the depth of what they know. There this is just new information. They're not starting from the beginning of how you got to this place. They're kind of just starting almost like in the present. They're not looking back to what you've already overcome and what you've already had to get up from. So someone is trying to make understand how you got in this energy after this. Okay. Why is the seven of swords here? Seven of swords speaks of a lot of sneakiness. A lot of sneaky communication. I do see you have some some people who aren't honest trying to mix in with some people who are honest. And that's where this confusion is lying and it has slowed up the process about the truth coming out. Because you have liars mixing in with some truth tellers. Kind of sort of, you know, hanging off the truth teller coattails by inserting lies into some fabric fabricating some stories. There's some sort of discussion about your level, your status, how you've had to work to get yourself to a certain place. Now, there could be dishonest about how you got to a certain place. Maybe somebody said, you know, that you got to a certain place in sort of like a, a dishonest, sneaky way, or it's just people talking about your where you are in life. That's all. But you've accumulated something and worked on yourself, but you did it alone, though, after getting up from a tower moment. It's almost like you moved in from that nine of pentacles energy to that world card or you're vibrating in both. You have the justice card and Libra could be significant. Also, the nine of pentacles represent Virgo energy, but you do have um, even balance taking place. Some, something has to be balanced. We are in a Libra moon at this time. So that's that harvest moon and it speaks of fresh starts. Um, so there could be some sort of communication about how you had a fresh new start or, you know, what was... Uh, maybe the justice system was involved in giving you some sort of fresh new start due to some sort of dishonest lies or sneakiness that was going on. But there's so much confusion or, you know, procrastination about people seeing the truth. 
there's a lot of speculation about how you got to where you are or how you overcame something. You have the Ace of Cups here. Yeah, so there's an offer coming and helping you rebuild from a tower moment that you're not expecting. But be careful, Pisces, because you may just sabotage this offer and turn it down because you don't see the value in it. So be careful. I see an offer coming in that is really going to help you sort of like feel better while you're rebuilding from a tower moment, but you may just be so distracted or, you know, kind of just like, you know what? I've been through so much already. Don't know who to trust. Don't even know if I should trust this offer. So you may be kind of turning it down, but I see a large offer with a lot of emotion coming in for you while you're, while you're in the process of healing or rebuilding. You have a death, you have the death card here. You have the high priestess and you have the judgment card here. Now, and I do see in this energy right here, I do see someone, um, whatever this was that was hidden behind the scenes, uh, this is a spiritual forgiveness. This is you finishing up a karmic cycle from the past. Your spirits want you to put an ending to this, like, like beating yourself up about something. Maybe you feel like you don't deserve the blessings that are coming in, or maybe someone feels like you don't deserve the blessings that you have because maybe they haven't forgiven you or they're talking about something uh, or adding in some stories or something like that. But it does look like your intuition is so on point. You're seeing something from a spiritual standpoint and on a spiritual level. With this judgment card, this is your angels like like just like okay you finished up a karmic cycle from this side like you can definitely move forward and not have to worry about what these people are saying or thinking if no one has the common sense to come and ask you the truth about how you feel or why you did something or how something played out then that means that they're comfortable in confusion they're comfortable remaining confused. You know, everyone can't accept truth. Everyone cannot accept honesty. Some people like living, the, the lie is more comfortable to accept than a uncomfortable truth. So this is also what is being talked about. So yeah. Um, but someone is choosing to remain confused when they, when the when it's it's right in their face, it's very bright. You have the star card and the world card here. So you're in a position where you can speak open and honestly about your wishes or what you know or how you've achieved something or how you got to a certain place. You can speak honestly and openly about this, but whoever this is, they choose to stay in a place of confusion because they just don't want to hear your side of the story. So they, like I said, some people are comfortable with lies. They, they, the lies are more juicy than the truth, you know? So the lies are more fun to believe. The confusion is more fun. Again, the death card is here. You have the 10 of pentacles in reverse and you have the ace of swords. So I do see a new star. I knew some, I see some sort of like, um, a Scorpio could be significant or a fire sign could be significant or a, uh, earth sign may be significant and with this ten of this ten of pentacles in reverse um there was some sort of death coming to someone trying to misuse their finances so i don't know whether somebody was trying to misuse their finances to keep people in a place of confusion to kind of hold up you know like i don't know or people are confused about how um you made it without finances or how you got up or something without finances. Maybe someone feels like you manifested a new start, like you have the power to manifest new starts in your life without um, a financial backing or something. But there's some sort of discussion around that. There's a lot of passion behind this you know, this conversation or adjustment that's being made in your life. You have the page of pentacles in reverse. You have that four swords here and you have the, so something that was being held up or kept from you is about to come in. 
something, some sort of offer that was being held up from you. Um, someone kind of changed their mind about what they wanted to give. It looks like they have gotten back up and decided to give you something to sort of balance it out. You know, again, you have this, this scale here. Something is balancing out a karmic cycle. Good karma is coming your way. You have some sort of act of kindness coming your way. And this is why I'm saying I see you kind of turning something down. So you may want to be careful about sabotaging the situation. Um, it could be due to heartbreak. But I do see someone kind of wants you to remove these swords out your heart so the healing can take place. Because you finished up a karmic cycle on the spiritual side. This is why you're in this uh, all encompassing type energy, things like that. Um, but there's just speculation about how you got to this place, how you got into some sort of powerful place or something like that. Um, after a lot of betrayal, but I do see you still do have some, you know, some swords that need to come out of your heart or you're working you know, diligently to get over a heartbreaking situation or to heal from it. Um, so that could be why you're turning down an offer just because you don't see the value in it because you're still vibrating on a hurt type energy. So, or you're still in some sort of healing. But I see an opportunity coming your way. So... Don't let pride get in your way, full moon and Leo. Yeah, some, so maybe you don't want to take something just because you don't trust where it's coming from. Maybe you don't trust the person that it's coming from or something. So that could be why you're not wanting to accept something or maybe your pride is in the way. Um, maybe you just don't want to admit how bad a situation really was. That could be hard to admit because then it puts you in a place of vulnerability. And so that could be what it is. And it looks like some help is coming in or someone wants to make an offer, but you're turning it down. This could be due to pride. Maybe you want to kind of show everyone that you can do everything on your own, but we're not meant to do everything uh in this in this life alone we're not we weren't put if that's the case it would be one person per planet and it's not right so you're put here with a, a plethora of people just because it's meant for you to be um it's meant for you to accept help and that could be a challenge for you at times so some help is coming in and i see that you may want to reconsider accepting it do see some sort of offer coming in that you a large offer turn, that you're turning down um while you're in the process of building from a tower moment maybe you don't see the value in it or it just could be a pride thing so Show the world the real you, full moon and Aquarius. Yeah, you're going to get the opportunity to show people, showcase your skills or should be who you want to be, how you want to be. So for those who chose to remain confused when they could have just come and asked you how you really felt about a situation, a place, a person, a thing or whatever, but they chose to remain confused and put all of this attention on everyone else and get everyone's else, their point of view. You know, everybody had an opinion. Everybody had some sort of emotion to where you are in life, um, your status or something. Some of you all are in the public eye, especially with this world card and the star card. And so there's some sort of a lot of talk about how you got to where you are. And someone is encouraging you like here, like show the world the real you. You can showcase your skills and it's okay to do that. And so you're getting this, um, this chance, some sort of new start, a fresh new start. I just don't see that you're necessarily seeing it right off as a blessing, actually. This is it's going to play a role in healing your heart. Meditate and contemplate new moon and Pisces. So you may need to meditate and think about this. So before you turn something down, just kind of give it, you know, kind of sit on it. Think about it for a while. Think about if you want to accept it or not. Um, kind of think about it because you may start to see the blessing in this. You may got, you may start to see that this offer is, is coming from you getting a fresh new start. Not only are you getting it on the, in the spiritual realm, but you're getting it in this realm too. So it's like, you finished up a karmic cycle. You've paid your dues on the spiritual side. The angels are literally singing your praises. They're telling you, okay, you know what? You've already 
you you're finished you you've paid off your karmic cycles like you've paid your karmic debt so you're good with us <laughs> like you're good with us on this side so yeah so an offer is coming in so you may want to think about it don't let your pride get in the way it's going to give you the opportunity to really showcase your skills to the world you may already have a platform where you can do that um so someone wants you to take it to that next level and so you may want to meditate before you say no okay so you can really see in depth you can see below the surface the real people's you know real intentions behind some sort of offer okay and then one more card and we're finished with the reading bring love into the situation new moon and aquarius yes yeah, so see something you're going to be able to see something with loving eyes so if you were so used to doing everything on your own and every every um happy time or every accomplishment you had to achieve through a lot of battles, something is becoming a lot easier for you. Someone wants to kind of lighten your load so you don't have to feel like you have to battle every battle just to achieve every little thing. So this may be an offer that you really want to consider before you just flat out say no due to ego or whatever. Um, yeah, because I see something putting you in a better place, like at a better situation at a, you know, a, a good, you know, where you can really show people who you are. You don't have to feel so limited. Um, yeah, so you may want to consider some sort of offer. Reconsider saying no. Some sort of someone wants to like you have a lot of good karma coming your way. You may have finished up you. So you could have gone through like a crash course in a karmic cycle where you were going through something for a lot of years back to back to back to back. But it was because your angels wanted you to kind of finish up those pay off those karmic debts so you can enjoy the rest of your life in a good way. You know what I mean? So that's it. That's your reading. I love you.